What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Chicago Auto Pros detailing vlog. We're here today, beautiful day. Um, today I want to start off with a little bit of a, some news for you. Now every business has its challenges and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. Um, one of the biggest high... Hello. One of the biggest challenges as a business owner that you gotta deal with your business is staffing, employment. Finding people with that passion, that drive, finding people with the same values that are gonna be able to do the work that you're proud of and that you've set out to do. As of recently, we have had some staff changes and this will happen for many reasons. Sometimes uh, people will quit, sometimes uh, we have to fire people. Not everybody is right for the company. You know, sometimes we don't make the correct hires and we discover a few months later like, hey, this guy's not working, He's not. he doesn't have the same attitude as us, he doesn't share the same company values. For whatever reason, sometimes we gotta make these decisions that, hey, there's there might be somebody better out there that's better suited for us. Or maybe the employee, you know, hey, this isn't for me this isn't my environment maybe we don't get along maybe there's not a good vibe whatever there's there's lots of reasons why an employee doesn't work so we have had some staff changes that I want to update you guys on uh, the number one uh, rich Rich was our expel guy. He was here for three years. He helped us along the way. He helped get that side of the business started. Awesome dude. Uh, but Rich is old, <laughs> and uh, he decided that you know he needs a break. So he's going to take some time off. I don't know if he's fully retiring or what he's doing. But uh, Rich is no longer with us. But when one door closes. Two more open. Eman and Rob, they have stepped it up. They've been hungry for this. Eman's been doing it for almost two years now. Uh, he was learning under Rich and he's just taken off with it. Rob, who you know was in our detail department, moved over to the film area a few months ago. He was chomping at the bit to get over there. He has just taken off with it. He was doing vinyl wrapping before, so he just, he moved right into it. Another new face you might see around the shop is Mike. He's our new marketing guy. Just started a couple weeks Ago. and we've been through a few marketing guys right now um, they did photographs social media management just trying to help the company grow bigger and faster so Mike has joined our team really excited to have him he has a lot of branding experience a lot of uh, marketing experience a lot of background super excited to have him here actually his first week here he designed a new logo and it kicks ass it looks great super happy about it and then Jason our video assistant um, I don't even like to call him a video assistant because he's actually doing most of the video stuff right now uh, he actually did an animation for the new logo which is super cool Tell me what you think of that. Oscar in our window tint department actually put in his two weeks notice last week. I told everybody that you're leaving us. Oh, why'd you do that? So he's got uh, another week or so here. He is moving on to another position. He got another job somewhere and sometimes that happens. I wish him luck. He's been great here. Love the guy. I'm sure we'll still see him around every once in a while. He's not working too far from here. But it gave a chance for other guys to step into these positions now. We have a guy named Jake here. Awesome car and uh, he's just been waiting to move up. He's been awesome. Started as a prepper like most people do in the company, moved his way up to the detailer, and now he's over in the window tint department. I've been training him uh, for the past week or so. So super excited to have Jake move up into his new position. So as challenging as it may be to staff properly, things are going great here and we're super excited the way things are turning out. Anyways. Let's get to work. We got lots going on. Let's start here. There's a nice Ferrari in here. And this one is wrapped in a vinyl color change. We're gonna be taking off the entire vinyl wrap. We're gonna be putting Lumar paint protection film on the front end. Probably doing some paint correction after we take that off and adhesive removal. Got this sweet, very low mileage R32. Whew. 39,701. I actually think he's trying to sell this one, so if you want some information on that, get in contact with us. Jeep Cherokee in from last week. Uh, we did a single step and interior cleaning on this one. Going out today, probably. Tesla Model 3 is also in here. They finished up this one last week. We did a full chrome delete. This is all satin black vinyl. Wrapped all the chrome, looks great. They did a front 
paint protection film. We did the full front windshield, that is Stratus. 70% film on there. Then we got 15% on the backs and the sides. Very beautiful. This is a paint correction, and then we did Modesta BC08 ceramic coating paint protection. Greg's M5. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn on all the lights. This is beautiful. You got to see this. Greg takes pretty good care of his cars, as you can tell, as a detail shop owner. We did some paint correction to it, and then we did Dr. Beasley's Nano Coating. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get started. Let's do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Another Tesla Model 3 in the house. This one's getting a full front paint protection film and Lumar. And then we're gonna polish it out and put in G Technique Crystal Serum Ultra on the whole thing. It's gonna slather it on. On the Tesla Model 3, the paint is in pretty good condition. It's a nice color, it's a great color, but there are some little imperfections that we wanna get out even before we put the clear bra on it, just to make sure we get the most clarity out of everything. BMW 3 Series that we're working on, we're doing a full correction on this, which is our single step correction on the exterior and interior signature detail. The first step to this is to remove all the caked on brake dust that has embedded itself into the rim. Uh, we're using Iron X. We've had to clean this several times so far to get most of the built up brake dust up there. These are notorious, they're ceramic brakes. They have, uh, they build up brake dust pretty quick. And if you don't clean it very often, that brake dust builds up and it actually bakes into the clear coat of the rim and it's very difficult to get off. We got some new cameras going in. Good stuff. The best in the business. We are always watching you. You know what you're doing, Leo? A little. Who's, uh, whose music choice is it? I just got that one guy. That's my guy, Leo. <laughs>
Windows Pentium ES 330. Edgar, looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Who brought a Prius here? I'm just kidding, we love all cars. Hey everybody, this is Damien. I'm Damien. How's the uh, Ferrari going? It's red now. It looks way better red. Oh yeah. Things in there. So this little badge, the horsey badge needs to come off. We have to take this back bumper off just to get it because there's a screw behind it. Two, two, screws. two screws. So we were gonna try to just pull this top off and pull it enough to get our hand down there. But um, it looks like we're gonna have to take the entire bumper off, which kind of sucks, but. <laughs> Instagram, we got a new employee here today, Ryan. What's going on, um, guys? We're gonna do a video. We're actually gonna do a YouTube video. This is a good chance for us to um, show how we teach somebody how to do a wash. So we're gonna do a video. We're gonna use it to show our new employees how to do a proper wash. We're also gonna put it on YouTube, and I figure it's a good time to do an Instagram live too. So now the first thing that I teach everybody is getting the mentality of why you're washing this car and what you're thinking about when you're washing this car. So we want to wash a car. And we want to get all the dirt off, but we want to do it safely. So we have a few different chemicals. One, the green is tire shine. All right. We have an air hose over here. Uh, the blue one is going to be your all-purpose degreaser. These, this is what we use for door jams. We use it for engines. We use it for rubber uh, rims and the wheel wells. Who? Damien. Damien. <laughs> Where is Damien? Where is he? Oh, yes. Damien. <laughs> Wave, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what I want you to do, clean the back wheel, I'll clean the other side. All right. And we'll meet back and we'll wash the car. You don't even wear it? It's dirty. I'm gonna miss it. I know, I'm gonna see too. I feel like like you're my brother. Well we like have the same name. Brother. We're 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 first name brothers, but not last name brothers. Yeah. What are you doing, Will? See what everyone's got to do at the end of the day. See what everyone's duty is. You 
Everybody's, everybody's chores. chores. Everybody's chores. Duties. duties. <laughs> <laughs> Nearing the end of the day, Tadas has been working hard on the Ferrari. Um, we had to take this whole back bumper off just to change out the emblem. Uh, it was wrapped in color change film and it was behind that one, so that one is a little challenging. Um, we still got the front end to take off. These pieces have to come off here. The little fender pieces, we'll get them off uh, and undo all the vinyl. I'm sure we'll end up, we gotta take the front bumper off too uh, to get that, that all off. And then it's into the PPF room for paint protection film on the whole front end. God, this thing looks so much better. That red is beautiful. Edgar's doing the final polish on the BMW 325. It's looking gorgeous. Hi, Edgar. Hey. Ah, <laughs> oh, looking beautiful. Look at these rims. These were just buried. These were just solid black little specks from dried on, baked on brake dust. I mean, they spent a good 45 minutes just cleaning the wheels. Two guys cleaning the wheels. Multiple steps of Iron X to get those clean. They look much better. PPF guys are done with the Tesla Model 3. We're gonna bring that over to the detail department tomorrow. They're gonna to start doing the paint correction and then uh, Crystal Serum Ultra is gonna go on it. Thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate you tuning in to another episode of Chicago Auto Pros Detailing Vlog. Make sure you like us, subscribe it, share it with a friend. If you know somebody that might be interested or like the vlogs, um, please share it. We want to grow our community. Um, 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 um. Thanks for watching again. See you guys later. Next episode's coming up soon. Make sure you subscribe.